primarily Italian, but with French, German, and Yugoslavian input, The Fantastic Three is the first of quite an impressive ten movies in the Three Supermen series. But is this Superman or Howard the Duck? A madcap caper, it tells the story of two crime-fighting thieves. Yeah, so that's apparently a thing. They gain a third member in the form of an FBI agent. The trio then find themselves on the case of radioactive counterfeit money and people who can be broken down into precious jewels. Yep, I just said that as well. Our three heroes wear bulletproof lycra suits that have sticky hands for climbing, bouncy feet for jumping, and all manner of very Bond-like contraptions. But please be aware, this is less Bond and more carry-on. Except the carry-on films were funny, charming, and had a great cast, whereas this is... This is 17 and a half shades of what the fuck. Starring real-life bodybuilder Brad Harris, smooth, suave, super spy-looking Tony Kendall, and real-life mobster Aldo Canti, its cast hardly blew you away, but they're competent enough if you can get past Canti's character and the ridiculous noises he makes throughout. No, seriously, that got real old, real fast. The plot is moronic, the pacing is ropey, and the one thing the film really has going for it is the -the over-the-top stunts and fight scenes, which, though not terrible, are really made further silly by the -the over-the-top costume's appearance and the comedic music that plays in the background whenever they're showing off their capabilities. Now, I I get the appeal of this. I really do. I I I can't lie. It's just not for me. Will I get round to the other nine movies? Absolutely, I'm a completionist. But since I've already hit a dead end at filming the... finding a copy, excuse me, of the second film, which is um, Three Supermen in Tokyo from 1968, It might well be a while before you see them reviewed on here. I award this first movie, The Fantastic Three, a three. So, rant time. I mentioned that Aldo Canti was a mob member. He was also a prolific thief, reportedly let out of jail just to appear in this film. In subsequent films of the Three Superman series, Canty's role was taken over by Italian stuntman and actor Sal Borghese. Canty appeared in only one other film in the series, the uh, Turkish co-production Supermenla from 1979, and just 11 years after this, aged just 48, he was murdered. And it doesn't take a genius to figure out who will likely have been responsible for this. He died like he lived. Scum. So what did you think of the Fantastic Three? Have you seen any of the sequels? Do you know where I can get a copy of the second film? Let me know in the comments below. Like this video. And if you haven't already, you know the drill. Please subscribe. Stay safe, folks.